And now that you've seen our new look and feel, I'd like to invite Dave Burke to show you some of the new features in the Android L developer preview. All right, so over the last eight months, our team has been busy cooking up the biggest release in the history of Android. And as Sundar mentioned, we've added over 5,000 new APIs, touching nearly every aspect of the system. Now, we don't have time to even come close to covering everything in L today. So instead, what I'd like to do is walk you through some of the highlights of the tremendous steps we're taking on the user experience and on the performance of the underlying platform. So let's start with user experience. Now, bringing material to L is, of course, a big part of what we're trying to do here. We've added a new material theme. So it's a new style for your application that includes new system widgets, transition animations, and animated touch feedback. We've also added new animation support, so a new drawable for animated ripples, a reveal animator to animate a clipping circle to reveal views. And we've extended views to not just have an X and Y component, but also a Z component to provide elevation. So you can float elements of your UI, and the framework will cast a real-time shadow for you. My favorite feature that we've added in supported material is the ability to customize activity, entry, and exit animations. You can even include a shared hero element. For example, an image that starts in one activity and animates seamlessly through translation and scaling into another. So let's take a look at this in practice. Let's have a look at an app we're all familiar with, which is the phone dialer. Thanks, Marcelo. OK, so the first thing you'll notice when you fire up, fire up the phone dialer are those bold material colors and shadows. And you'll see the, the, the ripple touch effect as I touch each of these tabs, and you get a more subtle material touch effect on the recent calls. You'll see that the dialer button has its elevation set, so it's floating above the UI. And as I tap it, you get these really nice, delightful animations. Now, another feature we added to support material is something we call nested scrolling. And the idea is, as I scroll, we propagate the scroll events up the view hierarchy, and different parts of your, of your views can respond differently. So for example, as I scroll upwards here, you'll notice that the recent call to Marcella will start to shrink and disappear. Then the search box will start getting pushed upwards, and the tabs will lock into place. It's a really nice effect. So let's, uh, let's go over to the dialer. Um, so it turns out my mom's a big fan of material design. I need to go call her up and tell her about how to set elevations on her views. I know she loves that. So let's go and start dialing. And you'll see that ripple touch effect again emanating out from the buttons. Then when I go to place a call, you'll see a view animator and will animate into the in-call screen like so. So it's a really nice effect. OK, so that's a quick taster of material in L. And what you're seeing here is really a sneak peek of work in progress. We wanted to give you guys early access so you could start bringing material to your apps. And we also recognize that changing the UI in such a big way will take some time. So we started with the dialer as a showcase. Over the coming summer months, we'll be extending material to all aspects of our apps and the system. And the result is going to be a dramatically enhanced, fresh user experience. OK, so another area where we've improved the user experience on L is around notifications. One of the most frequent reasons we all take our phone out of our pocket every day is to respond to incoming notifications. We all do this dozens and dozens of times a day. So we wanted to streamline the process, everything from the phone buzzing to you acting on the notification. In L, we give you instant interactive access to notifications right from the lock screen. So now you can read, open, and dismiss in seconds. So let's take a look at my device. The first thing you'll see are all my top notifications on the lock screen. And we're rendering, rendering them as sheets of material. They animate really beautifully. If I touch them, you can see that material touch effect. Now in L, we've improved the way Android organizes and prioritizes notifications by analyzing user behavior to make sure only the most useful, relevant notifications are presented to you. I can swipe down, and I get my full list of notifications. And we've done a clever thing here where we've merged the notification shade, so something that's been in Android since 1.0, with the lock screen. And so from here, I can double tap on a notification to launch the corresponding app. Or if there's something I don't need, I can just dismiss with a single swipe. And to unlock the phone, well, this is just the notification shade. So you just swipe it away, and you're straight into the device, fast and simple. We've also introduced a new type of notification in L that we call a heads-up notification. 
And this can be used to let you know about something urgent without interrupting what you're doing. So let's say I'm playing my new favorite game, which is piano tiles, and I'm going along here, about to get my highest score ever, and then all of a sudden, I get a call from Marcelo. So from here, I can keep going, or if I want to act on it, I can answer it, or if I'm busy, swipe it away. And then I can go back to my game and get the highest score that I've ever got in public. Yeah, all right. That's actually my worst score I've ever got. OK, anyway, uh, let's move on. So while we've made the notifications more powerful, if you're one of the approximately 15% of people who has a pin or pattern lock, you waste many minutes a day cumulatively on that fiddly task of entering your pin. So we figured there's got to be a better way. In L, we're introducing a new concept we call personal unlocking. And personal unlocking enables the device to determine if it's in a trusted environment, say in the owner's hand or on the, beside the owner on a table. Personal unlocking uses signals such as location on the, beside the owner on a table. Personal unlocking uses signals such as locations you des designate, Bluetooth devices that are visible, even your unique voice brand. So for example, let's have a look at this device. Thanks, Marcelo. So I currently have a pattern lock on this device. But because I'm wearing a Bluetooth watch, my phone knows it's me who's present. And so it doesn't challenge me with an unlock. So for example, if I just swipe up, the phone will unlock just like that. Now, let me just reset that. If I take my watch off, let me just hand it to Marcelo. OK, so now my phone can no longer see the watch. And because of that, my phone cannot ascertain if it's me who's present. As a result, my phone will lock down its security. So now when I go to unlock the device, it presents me with a pin lock. It's a really great feature. So that's a few of the user experience improvements we've made to support material and notifications. Another area of L where we're significantly improving the user experience is around how we've integrated the mobile web into the platform. So to learn more, let me invite up Avni Shah to the stage. <laughs> 